Hello, fellow Voyagers. Jess here with Odyssey Human here today to talk about how you make yourself up every day. Welcome to the channel. This is the place where we explore the outer reaches of human consciousness and experience so that you can be a master manifester, get what you want and love your experience. If that sounds good to you. Subscribe. We'd love to have you. So today, this concept, self-concept, I want you to be aware and have an experience with knowing that you imagine yourself every day. You simulate yourself every day in the ever present now. And we're going to start with a quote from Ernest Holmes, Science of the Mind. The principle of any science is invisible, theoretical, as is our idea of spirit. No one has seen God. No one has seen life. What we have seen is the manifestation of life. No one has seen intelligence. We experience it. No one has ever seen causation. We can see what it does. We deal with its effects. We do not see beauty. The artist feels beauty and depicts it as best he can. And the result of his effort is what we call beautiful. We do not see life. We experience living. So what is this great quote saying? As we grow, as we learn, right, we are conditioned from birth, right? We were taught and we learn these concepts and words and we learn how to speak and express our feelings. And all of this is a human construct. All of these things like intelligence and beauty, these are all man-made constructs, concepts, ideas, right? And we've agreed to play along with them, to play the game of like, okay, I'll believe in intelligence and then I'll judge myself against what I think intelligence is. The thing is, they're all man-made constructs. <laughs> so um, how we gauge ourselves, how we judge ourselves is against these kind of already imaginary conditions, <laughs> right? This is somebody else made up. And who are they? Who are they to be the ultimate authority on it, right? So, so this operating system that we're working inside in this hologram is all, is all imagine, it's all made up. It's already imagination. It's been imagination since the moment you were first aware of coming into the world, being a baby. You know, you were introduced to these imaginary concepts. <laughs> you played along with them. And you made judgments about yourself. We made judgments about ourself and who we are against the, this ruler of, you know, this yardstick of an already imaginary concept. We then piled our own imagination, our own simulation on top of that of, oh, this is what beautiful is and this is what it is not. This is, and it's in the eye of the beholder, remember? <laughs> so, so all of these things that we think we are are like, imagination on top of imagination on top of imagination. And so my reminder to you is everything that you think is concrete, everything that we think is concrete about ourselves, about the world, in every moment, it's just our own projection. And at any point in the present now, in the now moment, we can say, I am healthy. Even if you've been suffering from whatever it is for years and years and yesterday and the day before that and the day before that you were not healthy you judged yourself as not healthy today in this very moment you can choose to be healthy you decide you decide on the <laughs> in the imagination of imagination and so and even you know when we say when we look at the world and say well my body is telling me i'm not healthy or someone in my life is telling me this again that's their imagination that's our interpretation and our interpretation of the data from our body. So say our, we're feeling pain or whatever, that is our interpretation. And we're going to filter it through whatever story we're holding as our truth. So of course, anything, any signal you get from your body, you're going to interpret it as I'm not healthy. Oh, that's proof I'm not healthy. But really the data itself is neutral. It's totally neutral. Sometimes pain can mean we're healing right? Sometimes pain can mean we're growing, growing pains. And so remembering that we make ourselves up in every moment, we're literally simulating and projecting ourselves 
onto our body, what we think we are onto our body, right? Because our, our body is mostly running autonomously without us. <laughs> but I mean, we're breathing, we're digesting, we're, you know, our brain is the electrical signals in our brain are going, we don't really have to think about making sure our body stays alive, right? It does it autonomous, auton, rather autonomously. Our cells, you know, grow, divide, die, you know, they're very, they're communicating with each other. <laughs> they're kind of taking care of business down here. So, and we're projecting who we think we are onto our body, into our world, and then interpreting whatever's coming back to us through the filter of what we're thinking of the story we're telling about ourselves. So what's the moral of the story? Nothing is concrete. We live in a hologram, again, just like a dream state or imagination. And it doesn't matter what's happened in the past because all of the nows, all of the potential is right now. And it's always right now, 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 now. And so choose health in this moment. If you haven't been healthy and that's something you want, choose health. We limit ourselves by the judgments that we make, the, the judgmental stories, which are, as I just said, they're just imagination, right? We, we've made a limiting story based on imagination, right? Imagining that what people tell us about ourselves is true. Imagining that what we think that society judges as good or bad, ugly or pretty, you know, all of these standards, we are imagining them. We've never gone out and polled society and, you know, really gotten their true opinion. We're just projecting it. We're, we're making all of this stuff up every day and every moment. And the beauty of this is we can choose something different right now. So um, and when we remember, when we recall a memory of like, yeah, well, that's proof that I'm not good at this or I am, I'm not this, you're, that's an imaginal act in itself. That is a, an imaginative simulation in itself where maybe you judged the situation wrong or maybe you know because we we're only filtering the data through our existing story so but the actuality of the situation of the now moment is pure potential pure potential you can be just it's equally as likely for you to be blissfully happy right now as it is for you to be unhappy, upset, sad, depressed, whatever it is you're feeling. So they're equally as likely. It's just where do you decide to go? And then when you stake your claim, when you go to that spot in your projection of yourself and say, I am a happy, excuse me, I am a happy person. Then whatever you see, you're going to react from standing in that point of awareness. You'll know you're there because it's like, oh, I'm filtering the data as a happy person. I declare myself as a happy person. I stand in that place of awareness. And then whatever I'm perceiving, I'm filtering through the story. The story filters it out, right? So, yeah, don't limit yourself. You're unlimited right now. You can be whoever you want to be. And we don't need validation from the outside, right? We, we can feel... I can feel beautiful without needing the world to tell me I'm beautiful, right? That conviction, you really got to be relentless when you decide like, I am this. When it's something you've wanted for a while and you, when are you going to be the person who is it, right? And because the experience of it, we don't have to prove anything to anything. We don't have to wait to receive validation from 3D. We become it in the deciding of it right? As the center of our world. And so I am that. <laughs> I can do this. I am healthy. I am whatever I say I am. And the power of that, you feel this power behind it of like, I am this and I don't care. This, whatever the world tells me or shows me, I don't care. And guess what? If it shows me something I don't like and don't agree with, I'm going to revise it because my experience my experience of who I am, right, is not in the proof. It's in the being. It's in the being of it. It's in 
the 90%, which I've talked about, the 90% of our mental con constructions and concepts, it's in, that's the nugget of it. That's life experience. It's like you can be in an amazing, beautiful place and still be miserable. You can be a millionaire and still be unhappy. You can be poor and still feel so abundant and wealthy. It doesn't matter what your environment is. You can stand in a place of deciding to be it. Very, I've called it indignant before, but very like, this is who I am. I don't care whether I'm feeling pain in my body. I am healthy. I am healthy. And the power of that, the power of that, claiming that power of recognizing that you're making yourself up in every moment. You're literally just projecting a story of who you are into the hologram and then filtering through that projection, filtering everything that comes back to you through that story. So I hope this was helpful because your experience matters. Your your desires matter. Who you desire to be and what you desire to have, you can be it right now. You don't need evidence of it. You don't need proof. Yeah, the proof and the evidence is great and it's gonna come when you claim that level of this is who I am. I'm making myself up right now. This is no different than a dream world or imagination. I am, my experience is creative. I create myself and I project that onto my body through my mind, and then I receive through that projection, and I get to decide what that projection is, and to hell with everything else. <laughs> so feel the power of that, my friends. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful day. Bye.